Kalusirstate, and thanks for watching Your Greek News. This week's episode is sponsored by Six Reasons Why. I'm your host, Anastasia. When you think of all the ways to practice Hellenic culture, you think of Greek music, or dancing, or theatro. One thing that isn't placed in that category often enough is the practice of pangration, an ancient form of mixed martial arts that our forefathers practiced. In fact, in mythology, it is said that heroes like Heracles and Theseus created it, and Greeks like the mighty Spartans and heroic Macedonians were such a force on the battlefield because of it. You know, it's strange to think that for something that was once so ingrained in our culture, something that in a very real way is one of the reasons that modern Greece exists at all, Pankration is known about by so few Greeks and practiced by even less. Which is why we visited Aris Makris, the owner and instructor of the Armac Spartan Pankration Academy in Montreal. With 34 years of martial arts training under his belt, this man is a force to be reckoned with. He's been teaching Pankration in Canada and abroad for the last 20 years and was invited to share his expertise to consult the training of some modern day Spartan warriors for the recent hit movie 300. <laughs> wow guys, that was crazy. So uh, we're here today at the Addis Makaris Spartan Pankration Academy and uh, Addis and Alex, right? That's right. Sweet. So what was that you just did right there? <laughs> uh, that, was, uh, that was a very basic uh, defensive maneuver against an offensive uh, striker. Okay. For example, in pancreation, we we have to take into consideration uh, somebody punching, somebody coming in with punches, either kicks or even shooting in. So we have to learn to address that. That was just one of the basic, actually, you know, job counter the job and right. move in and take him down, as opposed to just sit and weave away like a boxer would do. Sweet, sweet. Can you show me something else? Okay. Just anything, well, I guess. Well, <clears throat> pancreation did distinguish itself from uh, from other martial arts by being able to employ the ver the different variables. Uh, meaning the the striking, the trapping, the grappling, and making use of all the different weapons right. to get into my uh, to get into our into a more favorable position so. to dominate the opponent. Okay. So we are not specifically geared just to shoot in or just to box or just to kick. Pancreation means all skills, all skills. total encompass, total encompassment, you know, uh, total strength, all encompassing. So we learn to put these, train the different weapons. Fists, elbows, knees, shins, shooting in, trapping, and hitting while we're in close range too, so that we can accomplish the goal. Right. So we want to harmonize the whole thing. Okay. And I think one good—I'll uh, show you a little thing that we yeah, uh, just to give you a little example is what would be uh, coming in from uh, uh, making use of our full weapons against somebody that's let's say is coming in kicking and then and then punching on a um, on a <clears throat> as a counter to my block. Okay. So say he's he's kicking, and you're going. And so he's kicking, then he punches over here. But what I want to do is I want to come in after I've parried out, and I want to come in with the elbow right. and then move in. Now, if I'm going to move in, I have an option. While I still have him up over here, I can control the hands and, and do some of the knee. Oh I can crank him okay. from up over here. I can even move him over and go directly into <laughs> a choke. Okay. So we get to at least work the different variables from long range to short range. So we could go in, let's say, come again with the round king. Okay. So we're blocking the first, we can parry the second, right. and then come in with the elbow. So we've made already use of the parry, the block, the parry, and the elbow. Because as we go in, I can't really punch him with this, so I have to make use of another weapon. Right. So hence we started learning to deploy the different type of weapons. But because I'm already up over here, if I've missed him and I'm up over here, right. I still need to hurt him some way just to take his mind away from actually him trying to counter me. Right. So right. I have a couple of options to knee. Okay. Now depending if I'm in tournament or in comp uh, or street, that changes the very Of course, of course. So it seems like it's really practical. Does that it's make very sense? Practical. Very practical. Yeah, very pancreation practical. is very practical. Yeah, well, if pancre pancreation has always been practical, it was the the necessity, the mother of all inventions. Mm -hmm. This was the mother of all inventions to get you out of the battlefield as a as a winner, as opposed to just survive the battlefield conditions, because. You could turn your back and survive, and the Greeks used to say, you know, well, where did you get the the arrow, from the back or from the front? Right. You know, the mothers right. used to ask. Well, so if you know you got it from the front, it's because you were facing the enemy. Right. You could survive by leaving the battlefield. You could survive by running away from a fight. The point is not to survive. The point is to become victorious over the fight. Right. So how close is what you guys do here compared to, like, what Greeks and ancient Greece used to do? Oof. Civilization has changed a little bit. Like they say <laughs> we've become a little bit more civilized and... You know, I think it's the laws, more laws that have been established. I think they've taken away a lot mm -hmm. in terms of uh, in terms of ethics and morals. Uh, in training today, 
we try to stay as close as possible in terms of the way that we train. Right. We still stick to the heavy bags, strictly heavy bags. Most of the guys, we don't wear any, uh, uh, there's no wraps. Okay. We let the body fortify itself. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, we still stay as close as possible to the regiment that what, whatever might come, we have to be prepared for it, whether it's a, a, a guy that will shoot in, more wrestling oriented, mm -hmm. more striking oriented, uh, more kicking oriented, for example. And the fact that things have changed in terms of the laws in society today, and because people don't want to go to work you know, with busted teeth and yeah, busted nose and black eyes, we have to take certain precautions to at least, to stay as close as possible, we have certain gear that we do use in terms of, well, not bathing ourselves, but at least to give the protection for the guy to come as close to reality as possible and still go to work the next day without, you know, looking battered up. Yeah, no especially if he's in sales, you yeah. know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we do try to uh, try to tend to stay as close to it as possible. So how, um, I guess, I've, I've heard that other forms of martial arts that you've practiced, like karate, juice, or whatever, does it all kind of root? To, they guess like, they the root is kind of creation? Yeah, see, years ago they used to, they, they, were, they, would, they were entertaining the idea that it might have. But the overwhelming amount of documentation today uh, more than substantiates where it comes from. We have documentation going back 12,000 years, documentation. There's legend going back 25,000 years. Right. Chinese legend goes back 2,000 years and they only have documentation of 1,000. This is where we fight! For the movie 300, turning an actor into a Spartan warrior was not an easy task. We would train for, um, two hours on the fight training and then go in to do a Mark Twight session. Uh, so in the end we would end up doing like three hours training, the last hour being hell on earth really. They basically trained us from, from scratch. They taught us how to, how, how to fight and, and they drilled us every day. And so what they essentially did then was they could they could actually say, okay, we'll put that drill, that drill, that drill, that drill together, and then the choreography fell into place. But how about turning a journalist into a Spartan warrior? <laughs> 